Hello, I got to see you. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Johannes and I have a channel about uh, photography and video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use trending sounds on Instagram for yourself. So let's fire up Instagram. I don't know if you are aware of this, but you can actually save sounds or music that you want to use for later on the app. You do this by clicking the name of the song here on the bottom left and then you can press save on the next page. You can also see all the edits with this trending sound and find inspiration on how people use it if you want to make your own reel. If you want to see the sounds you have saved, you head over to your profile and click on the three bars on the top right and then press on saved and again on sounds. So the sound I'm going to use for today is this one, which have been used in some different ways. But the original video I thought I would like to make my version of is this one. But this guy or girl uses black and white but I'm going to make my own version with reality versus my edits. So the biggest issue I have experienced when you want to use a trending sound from Reels has always been how to take out the sound from Instagram. I did some research on this because I want to do it and all the solutions were about getting the internet link for the Reel or sound and then downloading it by using a third party web page. But for me, this has never worked. I would always get an error saying something went wrong and yeah, it didn't work. So I figured out a better way, an easier way, I think. So what you simply need to do is open the reel that you want to use and then you start to share the reel on your story by clicking the arrow here on the right. But don't worry, we're not going to share it. We just want this page to load because what you can do now is that you can download this potential story that you're about to make down to your device. So from here, with the story of the reel on your device, you can start editing it on your phone. Or if you're a Mac user, you can just go ahead and use AirDrop. Me, myself, I'm an Android and Windows guy. The best way for me to share files between my computer and my smartphone, I have found, is to use an app called Airmore which basically works as airdropping over your Wi-Fi network. I will show you this at the end of the video if you're interested. Now, to edit this, I have some tips for making the reel a little bit better and also how you can make it loop so it will play out smoother as a reel on Instagram. To get started, we open up Premiere, but cannot just start the sequence from the file because it has the format of a story, and that is different from a reel. You could just change it afterwards by going to settings, but I'll show you the proper way of starting the sequence. On your projects panel, you click on this new page icon, and then you can pick sequence. Then we need to put in the settings for our reel timeline. I always just use the digital DSLR preset because it is normal HD and has a 30 FPS option, which is what Instagram uses. When it comes to quality, Anything above this is overkill and will actually make your reels look worse. But for the ratio, we need to change it to 640 horizontal and 1136 vertical. And the rest of the settings we will just keep. I made this into a preset you can download from my description if you would like to. So now we import the clip and we use the existing settings that we just made. The good thing about using my method here is both that you get the sound that you need, but you can also use the existing video clip as a reference. And what I mean by that is that you will see where the cuts were made on the original video. So he uses the same photo here in the beginning, and then he cut on the beat afterwards. I already loaded some photos in here to use, and I'll just go ahead and add them now, just like him. So one clip that is unedited, and then the edited version. And a thing you can do to make this easier is to turn down the opacity on the video clip to see when the colors are changing. And that is where my photos should change too.
One thing I do notice by looking at the waveform is that his cuts doesn't seem to be exactly on the beat, but when we play back the reel, it didn't seem to matter. So we will just continue to use his cutting. But yes, we will just keep scrolling and looking out for when he cuts and we will replicate that. Let's quickly see how this looks now. And it seems to be looking quite okay. Of course these kinds of real trends are different, but what I noticed when I use old pictures that I have already exported for a different purpose, is that they come in another aspect ratio and doesn't quite fit to the timeline of the reel. So I have to adjust them by changing the scale and perhaps the position for a better framing. That is something to keep in mind, that it may be easier to export the pictures again with a format that suits the reel size. Because of this, I also see that my pictures are not aligned properly, so I will have to align them. Fortunately, that is quite simple. I do this by taking the second picture above and place it over the first on the timeline. Then I change the opacity and now I can adjust the scale and position so they align. Yes, this looks way better when the cut comes. Another example there with the same problem. Let's just quickly change it again. I said earlier that I had a trick to make this look better on the reel. The original reel uses a new picture just at the end. But instead I'm going to make the cut so that it will end on the picture I used in the beginning. So we take the first picture and hold ALT and drop it to the end to duplicate it. And this might be a no-brainer, but here we will have to change the order with the photos. So we have the edited photo first, and then the unedited at the end. To me this looks better, and when you upload the reel to Instagram, it will make even more sense. To blend the sound together, we will use a crossfade at the end and at the beginning. So highlight the sound and use the shortcut Ctrl Shift D and then adjust the length of the fade. What there is left to do now is unlink the video clip from the sound, and then we can export this out. The fastest way to export this is by using Ctrl plus M and then the export screen will pop up. I already made a preset for this which you also can download from the description or you can follow along here and see my settings. I use the H.264 format here and I'll just quickly change the folder where the file will be exported to. For the settings here you keep the standard source, check render at maximum depth. Use software encoding with profile set to main and level at 4.1. And then for bitrate I do VPR2 pass with a target bitrate of 2 and a maximum bitrate of 3. I also check out use maximum render quality as well. I will export it with the audio, but I will not really change the settings here, so just go ahead and export. And the reason I export it with the audio is that way I can also use this reel for TikTok or YouTube Shorts as well if I like to. The last thing there is to do is to send the file to my smartphone. Again, I could just email it, but as I said earlier, I use Airmore to send my files from my computer to my smartphone. It's just a simple app that connects your phone through the Wi-Fi by using the web browser on your computer. As you see, it's just simple drag and drop, so I definitely recommend this. And by the way, this is not sponsored at all. So when you upload this to Instagram, you should remember to add the sound on the Instagram app, because this way you will show Instagram you're using a trending sound, which they will push out to more people. But also you will end up on the screen of the sound like we saw earlier. I'll quickly show you what I mean. Click the plus icon to upload, choose Reels, and then choose your file in your library. Then click the sound icon and pick saved sounds and pick the sound you used. I already uploaded this, so let's head over to my reels and see how it looks. 
here we are at my real screen and you can see down to the left that I'm using the trending real sound just right here. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you could use this. For me, it was a big uh, difference to know you could do it this way. And I will see you around in the next video. Bye.